Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. Right. Quite know why he's decided to do something a little bit odd and weird right there. But I will do that and then I will come over here and I will unload some of that canola into there. We put that down to about 75% left in the combine, thereabouts. We close that one up. And then I will bring this one over here, like this. And I will press H on there. And he should now go whizzing off down across this field and finish this job. But he's not. Why aren't you doing that properly? I don't understand. It's not exactly difficult, is it? It's a little bit wider there. It might just be because it was so narrow and it didn't really like it. All right, I'll leave that one going and train is whizzing along there. I've got that job that we want to go and put going and the mower is coming along really nicely. He's just about finished out the short work and he's doing a really good job of it as well. He's, he's coming along quite quickly on that short work, which I'm quite pleased about. Um, all right. Let's get this one here. We've got one small trailer, which I don't think is going to be enough for us to be able to uh, get everything into one load at just 12,000 litres. We've got the little fence, interestingly. This is the one that we were talking about buying for ourselves. Helper F has completed their task. If we could buy this one for ourselves this tractor that would be quite nice but it's the ridgy track that i'm leaning towards i'll probably just go for the ridgy track let's be honest um that's that's the the new shiny one that we we've got looking at at the moment not planning to do many other combine jobs or anything like that so i'm not too concerned about the fact that i've got the header trailer being left behind right there and yes i should not be picking up that one like that uh but i did it anyway we'll run this over to the field over here and we can just put him going around the outside edges i'm not going to worry about it too much i'll set it going and i'll leave it i've got I can unfold like that. Oh, so he doesn't do much to unfold on this one. It's New Holland. I don't think I've used this very much. I think we've used it a little bit. But we haven't done much with this combine. Not much at all. Yeah. Right. Well, we're, we're using it a little bit right now. So I'm going to bring you into here. So the straw chopper option. Right, I don't see any changes going on on there. Enable straw swath. Is it doing something inside the combine that I can't quite see? I don't know, I can't see anything. Oh, there. There's a little bit. It's this. Just doing a lever in the back right there. So enable straw swath, a disable straw swath. Right, so we want to have it on disabled. We don't want it to be allowed to run. Uh, options in here. We'll have wait during the unload is off. Okay, and that's going to be it. I don't worry about doing anything else on you. Um, turn off the beacons and off you go. That's what we need to do. Alright, that will take a little while to get on round that field and do whatever it needs to do. You here are doing a magnificent job, that's good. And then I want this one right here. I'm going to whiz up to the combine. I'm going to unload the little bit of grain that it's got, which is not a lot. Let's be honest. Oh, actually, no, it's it's most of a most of a tank, isn't it? 
And then we'll take this down to the grain mill once more. So we've got another long old trip with this tractor. And then we can make our vast fortune. So what have you got? You've got 7,300 litres in here. Okay, I misjudged that. Back that one up like that. There you go. Right. 7,000, that's about 10,000 litres that we got in there. So this harvesting job here is on 99%, which means that just about everything that we carry over to that mill now is going to be sold for profit. We're on 19 grand, 748 euros per thousand. We've got maybe a thousand litres to come out of this to go towards the the job sort of finishing and then the rest is ours. So we could be looking at about six thousand euros worth of grain that we're going to get from this. And then obviously we get whatever we get for the job completion as well, which I think is about another two thousand euros. So we're close to ten grand. Uh, Nine, I think it's 9,000 that we're going to get in total. Let's have a look. Oh, 4,000. 4,000, it'll be less 1,000. So we could actually... All right, there's a train in the way there. So we'll carry on down to the next one. Um, We could actually be getting in the region of 10,000 euros. Which isn't too shabby. Yes, I went round and round about the wrong way there. But there was a car in my way and I'm in a hurry. I've got money to be made, and I can't make money if I'm sitting around in traffic, stuck behind other cars. And, yeah, oh, m money first. Money is the priority. Money must be a priority over everything else. That is my motto. It's always been the motto on this channel. If you think it's been anything different, um, I don't know where you got that impression from. Money first. Always. Must be, isn't it? Or isn't it? Maybe I've gotten confused in my old age. Could have done. Right. Anyway. My TX32 is on 40% full. So it's not filling up, like, ridiculously fast, that combine over there. Which means that we've got a little bit of time to do things in between keeping that one running as well. Which I actually really like. I think that's good. And it means that we can sort of keep a bit of an eye on our bureau that's working in the field. Now, we've got 20,000 euros. We're about to earn what I've estimated to be another 10,000 on top of that. Plus whatever we get for the field 21 harvest, which is going to be a reasonable amount. And then plus what we also get. So that's tipping. And there we go. Contract on field 23 is finished. We get six and a half thousand. Right, that's less than I thought we would get for that. That is definitely less than I thought we'd get. Plus, we get 3,189 right here. Collect. Job done. So, that's put us at 29,200. So, it was about 250 shy of 10,000 euros. I'll be honest with you. That's not too bad. 10,000 euros we've pulled off of this. Now, you've got 3,000 in there. We're definitely not going to get this done in a single run. Fortunately, we're not going to be running up the road with the little Fiat tractor, which we've had on this particular job before now. Uh, we've got the Fent, which is a 53k tractor. Having a 50k box is definitely going to make our life a lot easier. So I'll just take out the little bit of grain that we've got in this combine. A little bit more. A little bit more still. And then I'll run down alongside the fields. Alongside the combine a bit. Just to get a little bit more. 50. 70. 3,900. We'll stop about there. Back it up a bit and leave that one going. What's happened here? Oh, I see. We've got the, the little bit that's kind of left over. So I'm going to... You know what? We'll come back to that in a little while, I think. No, we won't. No, we won't. If I just leave that bit right there, 
we'll go over here now and we will do this because this won't take long at all just start that one up lower him down there because we've got a 4.3 meter mower here we'll get through this little bit in absolutely no time at all I'm really looking forward to actually plowing this field up and then changing it over to whatever we're going to do so i've had some people suggest that we should do a little bit of root crop in this field a little bit of potato and take a look at the potato pack that we got um yes i would like to do that but i don't want to be doing something that is going to commit us to spending a long time doing one job where we can't use hired help and the potato harvester thing in the pack with the, the really small stuff it is not something that you can put the hired help on and that's why i'm a bit reluctant to use it i mean there are other things that we can use out of the potato pack so we can we could go and start doing a, a few root crops here in this field maybe like divide the field in half i mean that's what a lot of people said was um you know we should consider dividing the field in two and using it like that and yeah i think that's actually a pretty good idea so we can do some root crop in here and then we can do some of other things because you can make a bit of money doing the root crops right, there is some reasonable money to be made doing that because you get such a high yield from it and yeah you don't get masses of money for every little potato that you sell but considering the sheer quantity of potato that you sell that's where the money comes into it that's where you get the money all right one last little stretch over here round we go once more and that's that bit already taken out and done so we just lift up the mower race off down this way like that I lower it down again and then press H in there and the hired help is away once more and we're very close now to doing the really really long runs across the field so we get down to there and he will turn round and he's also seeming to cope quite well with going up the steeper hill the other tractor really struggled on this bit. The front mounted mower on the electric tractor he really, really struggled getting up this hill. Now, this one is grunting a bit, but it's nowhere near the strain that the other tractor had. The other one had a phenomenal amount of difficulty getting up that hill, but this one seems to be coping quite admirably. We got one cultivating job over here in field nine, over there. So I think I'm going to take that one a minute, borrow the items, and we will skip over and go and do this job. So that's another little bit of money that can come in, another little bit that will go into the kitty, go towards our grand prize of whatever it is that our grand prize is going to be. I'm not quite sure yet. Um and then we will go back to the yard and start shunting a bit of silage over to the bga now obviously we can take the silage there and it can be processed but we won't get any actual money for it until midnight tonight so we can we can spend all day shunting the stuff backwards and forwards but we don't get our we can't cash in on it now this is a slight problem but it's not a major issue we've got 28,000 here we have got the forage wagon at the moment and we can go and use that one to do the second round of silage that we've got we do also have the ability to sell that forage wagon and then get another one instead which we could then use to gather up this next lot of silage and I'm kind of thinking that maybe we'll do that because then we can take the second round of silage. Helper H has completed their task. Uh, that's, that's the mower. You haven't completed anything at all. What are you doing? Oh, we've got uh, a little bit up here. I'll tell you what. 
rather than letting it keep doing that and us having to constantly restart the thing, let's go for a little bit of a Sunday afternoon drive all the way around the side of the field and we will start over this side and do a little bit more mowing and we'll worry about doing the rowing up and stuff in a little bit. Well, we could actually start doing the rowing up. We're not ready to start doing bailing yet, though. All right, we've got money here, but we don't have enough to actually start any bailing. And, of course, the grass is going that way, but that's not actually the line that the hired help will take. The hired help will take about that kind of line right there. See, it's not quite in line with the grass. It goes off at a slightly different angle. But... That's just about spot on perfect there. Now, hopefully that there will allow the hired help to work all the way across the field. There may be a slight issue when we get right down to the bottom end over there. But I'm hoping we'll be okay. So you are just going to turn around there and then go on again. I have a feeling we might want to keep a half an eye on this just to see what happens when it gets up to the end of the field here. Because the bit up there is potentially going to cause a problem. Help us see he's got a full grain tank. I'm going to deal with that in a minute. Is this one going to be able to cope with this? He's going to pick up here. He's going to drive... Oh, he's going to do this now for 20 minutes. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's still thinking about it. Go on, you, 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 you can do this, you, you can do it, you, you can either put the mower down and drive, or you can lift the mower up and drive. How long are you going to take to do this? It's finished, no it hasn't finished, it started, it's finished, it started, it's, it's, I don't know what's going on! It's the hired help having an existential crisis, that's what's going on. And he's going to get past that bit. Hopefully he can turn himself round. Yes, he can turn himself round. Is he going to put the mower down before he starts moving? Or is he going to do something a little bit weird? Mower down on the ground. And we're away. Right, okay, we can leave that one to it. And we're going to go back down to this one. I know I've got the Combine in the field and he's ready and raring to go and he's already told us that he's finished the job in hand, but I don't care. I'm going to ignore it and I'm going to keep on driving, keep on trucking. I'm going to get this one over to field nine and we will make a start on that job. So let's get anchor on round the corner right here. There we go. And then we can head on up to this one right you know what's really good about farming simulator when you're playing farming simulator you don't have people contact you out of the blue trying to be your absolute best friend trying to be your new girlfriend boyfriend all sorts um, in order to try and scam you out of money it is quite amazing how many scams there are at the moment. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about this because I quite like getting these scams. I quite like getting emails offering me a vast sum of money if I can just help them do one thing or another. Um, oh, I can't remember his name now. There's a comedian who's done a whole series on this about getting scam emails and he replies to them and he's like yep okay i'm in you know he gets the nigerian prince who just needs some help to move some money offshore and he's like yep sounds legit i'm in and then you you sort of see what's going on in the background and i actually like getting these kind of scam emails and stuff because i also reply to them and they can be fun now, I just recently had uh, someone contact me on Instagram, of all places. 
Now, I'm always a bit wary about that because obviously Instagram is my public YouTube page. So I'm a lot more cautious about what I do and what I say on there than I am with my personal email um, or any of my personal accounts. But I do occasionally get these um, friend requests and... Well, not friend requests because anybody that follows me on Instagram, I follow them back. And so someone followed me, I follow them back. And then I started getting messages um, and... Uh, generally, I will reply to messages from people, so I got a message, and I replied, and then there was another message back, and there was a couple of messages back, and I instantly recognized what was going on, because there's absolutely, there's never any reference to your previous message. All it is, is they've got a message from you, and there will be no acknowledgement of that message at all, there'll be no reference to it in any future communications, they are just following a script. So I immediately identified that they're following a script and um, it's a familiar script I've seen this script several times different versions of this script it's the same one is used every time um, and so then it plays out and I generally I will just leave this running for several days in the background um, reply I've got probably eight different messaging um, different lots of messages going backwards and forwards uh, at the moment as we speak right now to various different people who are following these scripts and we're just kind of running through it. I have actually in the past put two of these people against each other just to see if they recognize each other and I've copied and pasted their replies to me copy and paste the reply and then I use that as the reply to the next one and then I basically just have these two communicating with each other for a period of several weeks before they kind of gotten on to what was going on and then gave up but it was really really funny to watch these two scammers going against each other trying desperately to win me over and um, a lot of these are kind of they, they go for the, the, the lonely hearts approach which is essentially they find someone who they think is looking for love and they try to follow this script and, you know, befriend you and so on. And then eventually they start asking you for money. And some of them do it really well. It must be said, some of them are actually very good at it. Most of them are not. They follow a script. They've got no idea what's going on. And they quite clearly are talking to and replying to... 300 people all at once and you only start to get any kind of personalized messages between them once it gets to the final stages of the scam because they filtered out all of the other people most people realize it's a scam before they even reply so they don't reply but the ones that do reply they've already sort of passed the first test they're gullible enough to respond to the emails so then they get the automated responses or the copy paste responses that they don't bother reading anything this goes on for a while until they filtered out and they're getting ready to actually land the scam itself and then it becomes more personalized and so you'll get the scammer who's running it he or she um whoever's running it in the background they will then start to personalize it a lot more and to try to target you they may even go back through then and read your previous responses and start to actually bring in some um, stuff on that. Usually this is then associated with a sob story that is uh, designed entirely to get you to give them money. The, 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 this is what the, the long run, the, the long term goal here is to get money from you. That's all it is, is just to get money from you. Um, and I'll confess that this is the first one that I've done going through Instagram because this is going through my YouTube channel I wouldn't normally do this because of it being my YouTube channel and I have had people in the past um, talk about their like I've, I've heard people talk about their um, channels being targeted and then they've, um, they've answered and they've sort of gone through some hoops that they shouldn't have done um, and they haven't realized that it was a scam and they've been put they've put themselves into a compromising position on you know videos or whatever and it's been used as a blackmail thing 
So there's obviously no way that I'm going to go and do that. That's definitely not going to happen. Um, I'm curious at the moment. Um, I was asked if uh, I could download another app so that I could um, do something with this other app. And so I said to them, well, I don't know about that. I'll have to ask my wife first. And, oh, no, oh, no, we, we, we don't want you to talk to your wife about it because it, it, this was, we, we were hoping that this would just be, a, you know, a, a private thing just between us. We, we don't need to involve your wife. <laughs> um, well, yeah, that's, that's great and all, but you don't know me. You don't know anything about me. Wait, why, why are you asking me to do this? So, ladies and gentlemen, if you get a random person message you out of the blue and say that they are falling desperately in love with you or anything, they're not, right? They, they really aren't. By all means, answer the messages. Have a little fun. Um, but they are all scams, right? They are scams. People don't message someone out of the blue and then start offering all kinds of things. Right? It just doesn't happen. And, I mean, okay, maybe it does happen very, very rarely, but generally speaking, it doesn't happen. It's, 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 it, it's a scam. And now, I know that most of you just will ignore any scam emails or anything like that. Um, those of you who get an email and think, well, actually, this one might be legit, probably it's not. If it sounds too good to be true, it almost certainly isn't. But by all means, don't let that stand in the way of having a bit of fun. Answer the emails. Um, I have actually got a... It's not my normal email account. I have actually got a separate email account that I use just for scams. And if you want to get some of these scams coming in, you need to go to a few different websites... Uh, in particular, like marketing websites, dating websites, anything like that, sign up using that email address. Put the email address out there. You've got to sign up to quite a few different websites and stuff like that so that your email address is out there in the ether. And then there will be companies. Companies get, they buy and sell email addresses in the tens, if not hundreds of thousands. Email addresses are worth money, and the more they can get hold of, the better. They want your email addresses. So you go to all of these, you know, all the little online games that turn up? Like I've signed up to lots of online games. I've got an email address I use just for that. And the amount of scam emails that I get coming into that email address because I sign up to all these game websites is phenomenal. It's brilliant. So if you want to participate in some scams... And don't ever give out any financial information, whatever you do. Don't give any personal information at all. Give yourself a completely fake profile. Make up a name, make up a um, uh, background story, make up a fake address, make up everything, right? Make it completely fake and use that profile, use that on... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.